गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द एनालिटिकल टेक्निक नोन एज गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी अंडर द यूनिट ऑफ एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री दिस इज द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू राइट डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन वर्किंग एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ गैस क्रोमेटोग्राफी the content we are going to learn in this session is definition of chromatography instrumentation and working of gas chromatography applications of chromatography so chromatography is defined as it is the process of separation of a mixture into its pure components by uniformly distributing the mixture in between two phases one phase is known as the stationary phase and another phase is known as the mobile phase generally the stationary phase used is either solid or the non volatile liquids and the mobile phase used used is either volatile liquids or gases along with that only the inert chemicals are used as mobile phases even the inert gases like argon nitrogen can be used as mobile phase in case of gas chromatography for the separation of a mixture into its pure components so this is the definition of chromatography which is used to separate a mixture into pure components with the help of stationary phase and mobile phase for mobile phase only inert chemicals inert gases are used so here i would like to ask you one question on the basis of definition just now we all learned which of the following is used as a carrier gas in gas chromatography which of the following is used as a carrier gas in gas chromatography option a argon option b hydrogen option c sulfur dioxide and option d all of these think for a moment and find out answer which of the following gas can be used as a mobile phase in gas chromatography and the answer is option a argon because argon gas is a inert gas why we are using inert gases as a mobile phase because it is expected that the gas used as a mobile phase should not react with our chemical compound if it react with our chemical compound it may form another products its role is only to separate a mixture into the pure components therefore we are using the inert gases as a mobile phase in gas chromatography and therefore the correct answer for this question is that option a argon now we'll come to the gas chromatography because there are different types of chromatography one of the technique of chromatography is known as gas chromatography it is a separation technique in which the compounds of a vaporized sample are separated and fraction as a consequence of partition between a mobile gas phase and a stationary phase held in column thus according to the nature of stationary phase gas chromatography may be divided into the two classes that is gas solid chromatography or gas liquid chromatography this is the block diagram for the gas chromatography we can see the different components of the block diagram the first one is a tank for carrier gas generally the inert gases are used as a mobile phase such as argon nitrogen and the tank is there pressure regulator is to adjust the pressure of the gas then the gas is allowed to flow through a drying tube to remove the moisture if present then it enters into flow regulator where the flow rate is adjusted and if you can see there ki after flow regulator there is a sample injection port 
to the column. The columns are shown in a tubing form inside the thermostat. The column is either made up of glass or made up of copper having a dimension of 1 mm to 10 mm and having a length of 10 meter to 50 meter. One of the option of designing the column is that we can also design the column in a coiled format also. Internally, the column is coated with a solid. The solid will act as a stationary phase. There is a gas which we are using as a mobile phase and we are injecting the sample to be separated with the help of a small syringe into the sample injection pore. Then the separation will take place depending upon the partition coefficient of a individual chemical component of a mixture and the signals are detected and converted into a graph which is plot on a recorder and by reading the graph one can predict which uh, compound is there what is the composition of that compound because gas chromatography is used for qualitative as well as quantitative analysis of a mixture. So this is the block diagram where the major components are the carrier gas tank is there the columns are there and the column is kept inside the thermostat and the purpose is that when the separation is carried out because of thermostat the sample gets heated vaporized and then the vapors are getting separated in presence of stationary as well as mobile phase. So this is the applications of gas chromatography where it is used. The first thing is that we require the sample in a very micro amount. The micro amount sample can also be analyzed with the help of gas chromatography. Efficiency of the separation is more. Then third one is the gas liquid chromatography is used in the separation of classes of organic compounds. So different organic compounds are prepared. For example, I would like to give one example here. If you do the nitration of aniline, we are getting the 2 nitroaniline and the 4 nitroaniline. It is a mixture. But in market, we need to supply either 2 nitroaniline or 4 nitroaniline separate. Therefore, it is very useful that gas liquid chromatography is used to separate 2 nitroaniline and 4 nitroaniline from a mixture. So the third application is that the gas liquid chromatography is used in the separation of different organic compounds. Then the fourth one is that it is a routine analytical tool in laboratories. Because it is applicable for all organic compounds, even it is used in the petroleum industries. The crude oil is separated into different fractions and every fraction is analyzed with the help of gas liquid chromatography. Because crude oil is also a mixture of different fractions and during uh, refining of crude oil, we are separating that crude oil into the pure components. Therefore, gas liquid chromatography is also used for the petroleum industries. It is used in the petroleum industry for the analysis of crude products, gasoline, waxes, etc. In cosmetics and perfumes, it is helpful in determining the composition of different cosmetics, the quality of ingredients and the components of substal fragrance. Because the medical products, perfumes, cosmetics should be highly hygienic and therefore it is needed to analyze such material in a laboratories. To find out the composition, what are the different elements present in a sample, whether these are hazardous to human health or not. Therefore, all such products like the cosmetics, perfumes, medical compounds are analyzed for finding out the composition with the help of gas liquid chromatography. It is also used for the quality control for analysis of commercial products and in forensic chemistry is that. So gas liquid chromatography is generally useful for analysis of different kinds of mixture to study the composition 
of the different ingredients which are present in a mixture so all that slides are prepared by using a textbook of engineering chemistry by jain and jain thank you